let's let's try and understand this sum a spherical ball rolls on a table without slipping then the fraction of its total energy associated with the rotation would be rotational kinetic energy linear kinetic energy all right and this is moment of inertia of a sphere moment of inertia of a sphere which is 2 by 5 m r square no so let's get into it so what we do is first of all we substitute instead of i we can directly substitute 2 by 5 m r square all right and omega square all right done plus half m v square all right so if i take this out this out y take out cancel it all right so it becomes 1 by 5 m v no v is equal to r omega right so this could also be v so we can write it as m v square all right so this is m v square plus half m v square so obviously m v square can come out all right and what we are left with inside is 1 by 5 1 by 5 plus 1 by 2 which becomes equal to what which becomes equal to now if we take lcm now i hope you have not forgotten so 10 is the lcm 5 2 is 10 2 and 2 5 is 10 this so it comes 5 2 5 is 5 into 1 is 5 so it comes to 7 by 10 we can write it here we can write it here as 7 by 10 mv square this is what this is kinetic energy total obviously this would be in joules so energy is always in joules so it would be this now we are supposed to then the fraction of total energy this is total energy associated with rotational would be so this, let me find out ke rotational now it is this formula which i have be using half i omega square we are redoing it anyways half so i moment of inertia we already found it is 2 by 5 m r square m r square and omega square right so we cancel this and what we had got was 1 by 5 this we converted into v square m v square so this is rotation so if i intend to find out the fraction so what i do is rotation we got ke total we got ke rotation so we have got to find ke rotational to ke rotational to ke total so rotational is 1 by 5 m v square and this is 7 by 10 mv square. So this cancels. Joule joules also goes away. If I write a joule, if I write a joule, this also goes away. So ultimately, what do we do? Ultimately, all gets cancelled. So ultimately, what we have is 1 by 5 into 7 remains down there, and 10 goes up there. So it is 5 twos are 10. So the answer gets 2 by 7. So the answer gets the value of two by seven, no unit, as its ratio of energies. All right.